now <coughs> see this is the bending of a cyclist very you can say a common example a cyclist is moving on a curved path you might have experienced suppose a cyclist on or a on a two wheeler a person is there then what happens the person has always a tendency to move towards the center of the path the person has a normal tendency natural tendency it will lean towards the center of the path like this this is the center of the path this is the radius of the path okay r is the radius of the path the person will have a normal tendency always why why it has a normal tendency because the tires are very narrow there is no force of friction sufficient force of friction which will provide it the centripetal force because i have told you repeatedly <coughs> that in always in case of a circular motion the centripetal force is necessary centripetal force is the real force it has to be there it has to be there you cannot get rid of centripetal force it has to be there so centripetal force has to be there fine so what happens here what is the source of the centripetal force frictional force in this case is not sufficient to provide the necessary centripetal force that's why what happens the person leans at an angle theta suppose with respect to the vertical then what happens reaction reactional force r will be acting through the body of the person r can be dissolved into two components if this is theta the angle by which the person is leaning with respect to the vertical then theta then this is r cos theta this is r sin theta two components one is r cos theta this is r sin theta what will happen r sin theta is here providing the necessary centripetal force r sin theta is providing necessary centripetal force here and r cos theta is simply balanced by the weight balanced by the weight weight is always acting vertically downward so on dividing on dividing very simple case on dividing what we shall get we shall get tan theta should be equal to v square by rj you can find out by what angle it will be leaning or you can find out v is equal to again root rg tan theta this also you can find out for the safely turning along the curved path what should be the required speed v should be equal to root rg tan theta so this is about the bending of the cyclist in in uh, ncert book we have the question on this so this is all about the motion of the cyclist along the circular path we were doing dynamics of uniform circular motion mind this the circular motion was uniform generally the circular motion which is taking place on the horizontal plane is uniform circular motion and the motion which is circular motion which is taking on the vertical plane on the vertical plane that is the non uniform circular motion about the motion in a vertical plane we shall discuss in our next chapter that is the work energy power us mein hum log discuss karenge abhi hum log vertical circular motion ke bare mein discuss nahi karenge that is completely non uniform fine so we have discussed about this we are almost coming towards the end of this laws of motion our next chapter next topic very important topic that's why i am keeping it at the last because from competition point of view also it is very important that is motion of connected bodies and free body diagram free body diagram in short we say fbd but you have to understand the concept of this free body diagram or fbd but first of all i just introduce first this topic what is the motion of the connected what is the motion of connected body what is the meaning of this suppose suppose there are two bodies let's say m1 
and M. Fine. These two bodies may be connected directly with the help of a string or they may be connected connected like this through a pulley the it may be connected like this through a pulley suppose this is m1 this is m2 what can be done these two bodies may be connected directly may be connected also directly through a pulley 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 should be light the conditions are number one pulley should be should be light and smooth smooth normally we shall try to take try to avoid friction on the grooves of the pulley on the grooves of the pulley secondly string should be light perfectly flexible and inextensible look these should be the characteristics of the string the string should have what should be the characteristics of the string it should be light means massless it should be flexible very much flexible right and it should be inextensible there should not be extension when the weight is suppose is hanging or it is holding some weight hmm, there should not be any extension it should not be elastic and third point in a particular string you can write in a particular string right or in all parts of a particular string the tension will be the same the tension in the string the tension in the string will always be the same the tension in the string should always be the same and should always act towards the fixed point the tension in all parts of a string a particular string jab tak ek particular string hai uske har part mein tension same rahega स्ट्रिंग बदल जाएगा टेंशन भी बदल जाएगा ठीक है लेकिन जब तक एक पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रिंग है उसके हर पार्ट में टेंशन सेम रहेगा और ये टेंशन किधर एक्ट करेगा ऑलवेज इट विल बी एक्टिंग टूवर्ड्स अ फिक्स्ड पॉइंट लाइक दिस हियर इट इज टी हियर इट इज टी जैसे यहां पर ये टी हियर इट इज टी टेंशन क्यों लगता है मान लो स्प्रिंग में पूरा इट इज इन कंप्लीट स्ट्रेच पोजिशन There should not be any slackening in the string. It should be perfectly stretched. Stretched होने से क्या होगा? M1 piece पर tension डाले, M2 इस पर tension डाले. Mutual force. All right. These should be some important points. All right. So these are some important points for the free body diagram. Now, uh, sorry, for the connected bodies. in case of the connected bodies to solve the problems of the connected bodies we shall use free body diagram let us now first see what is the meaning of free body diagram or fbd free body diagram ka matlab hota hai one by one man lo ye ek system diya hua hai to mujhe pehle m1 par fir m2 par dono mein free body diagram ka concept use karna hai kaise use karna hai jab main m1 par use karunga at that time we will forget about m2 i will not take into consideration m2 and when i am using it on m2 i am not taking into consideration m1 jab bhi kisi ek par use hoga hai na to dusre ko ignore karna hai ye bada important point right so now i will be showing you how this free body diagram can be used in a particular system i am uh, here discussing two important systems two important systems jo ki generally use hoga hai na adhiktar use hoga to un systems par hum wo dono bada fundamental do points hai un par main use karke tumhe batata hu how to use free body diagram there <coughs> right so 
in our next lecture i am coming to that point